Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Primrose Lodge. So here is Primrose Lodge. So this has to be one of my favourite houses. I've had it for quite a long time and I just really love the like, interesting shaped rooms that it has. It's quite different from other houses where it's got like the room at the front and it's quite an interesting shape so it's good for setting up furniture in and it's just a really nice house. Looks like a really cute place to live. So at the front of the house we've got steps up to the front door and it says Sylvania families above the door. This front room which I really like because it's got flowery wallpaper on the wall and also on the door which opens like that and then we've got double doors here to go out and it's got a lovely big window here to see into the next room and a balcony at the front here on the first floor we also have quite a lot of windows here at the front of the house at the side we've got a window and some more doors which lead to nothing so it's a bit dangerous because it's quite high up but I think there was a house that was similar to this called Woodland Lodge and that had like an extra part at the side here but this one doesn't but still has the same door and then on the other side we've got these doors that I showed you a minute ago which are to go into the front room and we have another little balcony in the roof on the second floor so now let's go inside So now we're inside the house, we've got stairs to go up and also stairs to go down. What I like about this is you've got a little area that you can come in, take your shoes off and maybe put them in the area behind the stairs next to the door just in here. You could like just put your shoes in there, it's a nice little area that you can come into. Then put the doors here that don't really lead to anything. But I guess they let more light in, which is good. So now we're going to go down these stairs and into what I think would be the kitchen area. So we've got blue tiles on the wall and also blue on the door to match, which goes through this door here to go out into the front room at the very front of the house which I showed you at the start of the video and you've got a lovely big window there which lets in lots of light it's a nice big space that you can have a kitchen and dining area in and then probably I'd have a living room in the front room another thing that I like about the entrance bit here is the high ceiling I think that's really nice then you go up the stairs, up into this room here, which I'd say is bathroom and bedroom. So you've got the blue tiles on the wall there. That can be like the bathroom area. And then you could put the bed on this side next to the balcony. And then my favourite thing about this house is up this ladder, there's a little secret room at the top. So here is the really cute little room at the top of the house. I use it as like a baby's room and I put some cots up there because you can fit three cots in a row quite nicely up there. Like that with them all in a line. I think it's a really cute little room and I really like the wallpaper, it looks so cute and it has a little balcony here in the roof. So my favourite things about this house are that it has big rooms and also I like how the rooms on the ground floor are separated instead of having one massive room, they're two still good sized rooms so I really like that 
and also the stairs and it's just a really nice house and I love that it comes with the wallpaper already that is a really nice idea the balconies and the little secret room at the top for babies is really cute just a really nice house and I'll see you in the next video bye